What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more solo leveling. Today we're doing episode seven. Super excited. Uh, before we get to anything, I do have a question over here on the Discord Q&A section. If you guys don't know, there's a section in the Discord. You can ask me anything and I'll try to answer it in the next reaction after you ask it. This one comes from Evie Neeks, who is a classic question asker. They say, let's say Jin Wu was not alone at the end of episode two, but everything goes relatively the same. So instead of him being alone, it's Jin Wu and Mr. Song both on the brink of death and at the time limit just barely ends. What do you think will happen? Will the system offer both to become a player or just one of the two? That's a good question. I don't think there's a set answer because I think the situation that happened at the end of episode two is going to be a very one off thing that we're probably never going to see again in solo leveling. I'm sure we'll get more answers about it, but I would have to assume because you need a certain amount of people to activate the flames and activate the timer itself, I'd have to assume if you're willing to accept getting brutally murderized up until that point, then it would offer it to all. Because it's not as if anything on the screen indicated that it was just for one person. It just said player has or hunter has passed the uh, test courage of the week or whatever it said. Um, do you wish to? I, I would assume all six, if they stayed in that circle and got brutalized, could have gotten that offer. But obviously that's the test in and of itself you have to stay here get viciously beat on and then so i'm it's a good question but i would assume it would apply to all so i assume in that situation mr song also would then become a player but you know after that the penalties could easily kill you there's multiple situations in which you could die there's, there's a lot of questions i still have about the world building of this show but thank you for the question i appreciate you if you guys couldn't tell we are live on twitch watching this it is always a vibe watching solo leveling with you guys come on over hang out twitch.tv slash dapper darius check out the patreon for the full uncut versions of these reactions and check out the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter i'm not going to waste any more time solo leveling episode seven let's do it all right here we go this is the one who was training with the chairman last episode they're talking about the instance with Jin Woo. That makes it more intriguing, a little suspicious. Yeah, him. Yep, because he was there doing the double test on him. We still don't know who Dong Suk's brother is. We saw him for a glimpse. Dong Su. The infamous Dong Su? <laughs> Things are a little different now. I would love some fried chicken. I'm starving. If only you seen a, if only you saw us, Gina. You know, when it comes down to it, <laughs> that's such a fire way to put it. Yep. That I fully understand. When it comes to a world as dark and as and realistic as this, you just need to worry about yours and your own. You know, detected health and longevity. <laughs> oh, it doesn't like the beer. Technically, it is poison to your body, you know? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I thoroughly enjoy them, brother and sister. She worries about him. He worries about her. They worry about their mother, you know? It detoxes him after every drink. Courage of the Week, the great spellcaster Kendiaru's Blessing, Spirit of Rehabilitation. All injuries will be healed, temporary buff. Long-lasting buff, health and longevity, disables toxic and abnormal conditions, improved regenerative cape capacity. I like the name, Kendiaro's Blessing? That does make more sense to the specifics of that. Ah, Jinho! I wonder how... You're not lying there, Gina. You're not lying. I wonder what Jin Ho's gonna say. Stop calling us Aniki. We're not your boss. Needs 19 more raids. I mean, we'll at least hear you out. Come on. It's the least we can do. 
レイドケイケンに自信がありますしちがギルドを作ろうとしてましてオッケーユージン建設のギルドはいいやでもでもすべて金になるラブシーンのチェアメンズ オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。
Imagine if he's able to do this, how much he'll level up. Hell's Gatekeeper Cerberus? It literally is Cerberus. Dash level one. I love how you can level up individual abilities and skills too. He grazed it. And it doesn't look like paralysis or drain is going to do anything to these either. Paralysis and drain also doesn't really look like it's working. Oh, this is one of those style of bosses that will two-shot you if you're not careful. He lost his left arm. We truthfully get to see what level S rank is on. And his arm instantly heals back. Oh my god. Bro, I thought this might be a little happy episode after everything that happened last episode, but oh, we're right back into this shit. Is this the end of uh, solo leveling? This is the last episode? Jin Wu's gonna die. You're not even gonna have time to use the teleportation. No. I was hoping he might use that and then realize how out of his depth he is, and then we have to train a little bit more, but... And I'm glad he didn't get that from the big snake, right? Okay, he said it was too dangerous at the time to use, but he said he's saying fuck it now. He talks complete, so he doesn't get the negative effects. Minus 20% damage. Okay. And his rage is over with. If we're able to beat this thing, bro, we should level up 10 times legit from just this. Oh, my man is a savage. Just going after that eye. Purely, it's all he can do. He's stuck in his mouth. Okay, he literally burst his eye. That's a great move. As the blood puts out all the immediate fire. I guess if you kill the middle head, you kill them all. There's two gaping holes in his body. His left arm is destroyed. He's leveled up like at least five times. That was just the first. Was that it though? And we're good? Was that all we need for the Elixir of Life? Elixir of Life. Learn how to craft. So we just got the recipe. Three items are they can be found in the demon's castle. Yeah. I love the design. He realized how out of his depth he is. So we have oh, we have two long-term things dong su and the demon king's castle okay 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 uh okay that episode was fantastic thoroughly am enjoying the world building and everything going on whether it's doubling his daily quest for a secret quest getting a blessed or a cursed loot box i'm curious what a cursed one would entail um, getting that instance dungeon key to go to the demon castle, demon King's castle. I love the design of it, how it's literally just like our world, how they do that with the instance dungeons, except it's like wrapped in chains and dragged down to hell on fire. Um, fighting Cerberus. I thought for sure he was not going to do that. And he was going to have to use a teleportation stone to leave, but now he realizes how 
weak he is comparatively to s tier so he needs to do a little bit more training then go back in there and i'm curious how this is gonna go is dong su gonna be our villain like our main like oh because i would want to say like is he gonna be our first big fight we've already had crazy big fights whether it's the snake to the spider to cerberus like shout out Jin Woo. man impresses me literally every episode i have a feeling he's gonna go back and say yes to some to jinho i just don't know what's gonna cause him to have that mental switch where he does and is convinced um thoroughly enjoy him and gina i love the concept of him detoxing every any debuff he has due to um whatever sort of passive uh passive he got like i just there's so much video game aspects of this that if you're an avid rpg player anything you're just gonna love it so much and i thoroughly enjoy this but like i said now he knows how weak he is he got some training to do hopefully that training gets us ready for dong su because the way he was talking that man is about that action and he was known as infamous so all i know is that i'm starting to get used to the very fast pacing of this show like i thought this would be a chill down episode because of what happened last episode no no so this season is kicking ass i will tell you that kicking ass um hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here check out the twitch because we're always live when we watch these it's always a vibe twitch.tv slash that for darius i don't know if i said check out the patreon full length versions of these episodes other than that make sure you uh, drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad Peace out.